Greeting, YouTube. Um, I get my serotonin in a pill. I take 150 milligrams of medium duration serotonin twice a day. And it's been life changing. It took me a couple of times to find the dose I wanted. Uh, I'm, using, I'm taking a little butrin, um, bucopron, I think it is, bucopron, pure. I can never say the N word. It's the generic version of what we use here. Um, and it's helped me see things in a more clear light. It's helped me start to clean out of things in my office. I know you can't probably see it right now, but um, I've cleaned out almost every single thing in this office that needs to go into the basement. I still need to organize things. I still need to find spaces and places to put some of the things that I don't want in the basement. I've got a really nice little billy club over there that I got to find a home for. It really needs a strap. So I have to come up with a way of making a, some nice little strap for it. Maybe I'll whip out some YouTube videos and see if I can make a nice paracord strap for it or something. Um, but that's helped me. I've been able to take objects from this room, carry them downstairs, and put them in spots that are semi-organized. My basement is still not organized. That's something I have to take on as well. But just getting the things from here to there is a major accomplishment. Now I need to tackle the other objects in the room, things that need to be reviewed, and then then and then donated and got rid of or tossed in some cases, I'm sure. Some of these things in here probably aren't worth anything. Um, and that's also something I'm working on. I've already got some of the books done over there, some big picture books I, that, that I did. That I donated those already. Um, because those entail setting up my camera boom and to doing down shots because I'm taking pictures of coffee table books um, or videos of coffee table books. And, but I'm done with them, they go away because I got them strictly for videos. Well, I got one over there on and the Renaissance firearms. I'll, I'll be keeping that one. But I do still want to do a video on it. But it's also let me solve problems. Now, when I'm sitting at this computer, I use headphones. In the warmer weather, when it's not too warm, I use these. And if it's really warm, I use the uh, in-ear style headphones, you know, like, like this. I use the, oh, no, sorry, wrong end. I like that kind. These are not actual uh, Apple headphones are just knockoffs, but they still pretty give me pretty good sound. Not as good as these, though, which is why as long as I can get myself, uh, be able to use this when it's not too hot, I use these. Um, I don't even have speakers on this system. I used to have speakers behind my monitor, but uh, Cersei kept knocking them off, and when they would get knocked off the back, they would yank cables out of my computer, because so suddenly I would lose control of something and not understand why. So I just got rid of the damn speakers. Um, but I also don't want uh, to be feeling really constrained about uh, the distance I go. So I have an extension cord, so I need to grab something over there, I need to turn around and fix something off the floor, or I need to plunk something over there on the wall with an outlet, like I my camera or something, my camera battery or something. I have this extension, particularly useful for my new computer because for some weird reason, I have to plug the, the mic for my headphones in the back. That the plug for the back makes no sense to me. Why you would do that, I don't know, but I'm glad I have an extension. Um, but because I have this long cable, which does hang on the floor, when I get up sometimes, I'll put my, real, my you know tray in here and I'll go like this and the camera, the cable will have wrapped itself around my armrest. That's uh, no big deal for most people. That's something that is so insignificant, you would probably never, ever notice it. It would probably never even consciously be registered as something to be aware of. For me, it was incredibly, unbelievably frustrating. And I would try to untangle it, and which just kept me more and more frustrated before I had serotonin. But now when I'm turn around and it, and it does not immediately come come loose. I do have to verbally talk my way through it because I'm still processing this. I am still building new neural pathways to have a better process of thinking. But you know what I do? And I grab the headphones and I pick them up and I drop this and then I pick it up and then I put them back together and I'm done. No frustration, no meth, no muss, no fuss. It's done. Ah, sorry about that. Um, but there was a time when I literally couldn't think of that. And that's very, very frustrating. 
I'm glad that time's gone. I'm glad I'm laying down new pathways. But for some of us who don't have the thought patterns that maybe we'd prefer because of mental illness, neurodivergence, what have you, that isn't possible. I suffer from anxiety, depression, PTHD, PTSD, and ADHD, which is an, a new diagnosis I just recently acquired. Um, and knowing that, and now being aware that there are solutions like chemicals and talking my way through problems, it may make me look a little crazy. If I'm talking out loud, trying to figure out something that most people would be like, you, you have to figure that out because I do. It isn't an instantaneous concept that I grasp. Uh, for some of us, life didn't come with a handbook. And uh, we're trying to write it as we go. And if you ever try to write a note while you're jogging down the street, it's not easy. Um, but figured it out. It's a little, damn, little thing, minor thing, insignificant thing. Not to me. To me, it sounds like it, it feels like it's very damn important. Because that is representative of my ability to tackle something, find a solution that isn't anger and frustration. Because, and I don't know if you know this, Anger and frustration actually aren't solutions. No, no, they're not. You know what solutions are? Solutions. <laughs> so, here's the solutions. Tally-ho! I'm glad that we occasionally can come up with them. Uh, it makes me feel good when I can arrive at that spot, um, even if it took me 57 years to get there even if it takes a prescription to be in the space where that makes sense to me. I don't care. I wear glasses. I don't, I don't think anything about it. It's just what I do. I wear glasses because my eyes don't work. I take meds because my brain don't work. Anyone who gives you crap about something like that, well, send them my way if you don't feel like telling them to. I'll do it for you. Um, but yeah. So here's the solutions. Doesn't matter, it took us a long time to get here. We're here. 